Did you know you can get a member signature onto a chip without having to purchase a device? This is a simple four-step setup process. Let's take a look. The first step is to set up the signature capture device within the devices program. Select new to add a new device. In the general tab, enter a quick access code with a max of 10 characters and a description with a max of 35 characters. Set the type field to signature capture. Set the rule to not applicable and set the company to use accordingly. Ensure that the active field is selected so the signature capture device can be used. Select Save if you've made any changes. For more information on how to set up devices, watch the video titled Devices and Device Rules. Now that you have a signature capture device, the next step is to associate that device to each applicable workstation. Within the workstations program, select the desired workstation or create a new workstation if needed. For more information on how to set up a new workstation, watch the video titled Workstation Setup. In the Devices tab, select an empty row and enter a description with a max of 40 characters and select the signature capture device. Note that a device manufacturer slash model may be defaulted for you. You can leave this as is. Ensure active is flagged so that the device can be used with this workstation. Once you have added the signature capture device, select save and repeat this step to add the signature capture device to all applicable workstations. The next step is to define the preference for each sales area when using Signature Capture. In the Sales Areas program, select the desired sales area. In the Point of Sale tab, select the Chit Entry subtab. In the Member Selection option section, set the four Signature Capture field to one of the following choices. On Demand is the default option. By selecting this option, Signature Capture can be accessed optionally for the sales area. Primary member only. By selecting this option, signature capture will be forced automatically after a primary member, i.e. the person responsible to make payments, is selected on a chit. On chit settlement. By selecting this option, signature capture will be forced upon chit settlement. Once you make the desired selection, select save and repeat this step for each applicable sales area. The last step is to add the Signature Capture button or feature to the POS menu. Select the desired menu, then select the Edit Menu button. There are two ways you can set up a Signature Capture function within your POS menu. The first option is to add the Signature Capture as a button within your menu. You can do this by selecting an empty button and setting the group to Settlements and Gratuities, then the function to Capture Signature. Optionally select full screen to hide the POS menu behind the signature capture screen when this button is used at POS. This keeps the screen cleaner for the member to focus on the capture pop-up instead of the POS menus. Ensure the button is marked active so it can be used at POS. The button itself does not require any additional configuration unless you want to adjust the typical button features such as description or background color. For more information on how to add buttons to a menu, Watch the video Fixed Function Menus. The other option is to enable the Signature Capture feature on a payment item. To enable this feature, select the desired payment item and enable the Capture Signature field. You can also option enable the full screen option here as well. By enabling this function on a specific payment item, you can launch the Signature Capture screen every time this payment item is used to settle a chip. You can use both these signature capture options within a single menu. Once you are finished setting up one or both signature capture options, select Save and Close. Then select Save from the Fixed Functions menu program. Repeat this step if you need to add the signature capture button or feature to any other POS menus. Now that you have set up signature capture, you can capture a member's signature at point of sale. If you added a button, Select the Capture Signature button. This will launch a window where a member can sign the screen, provided the terminal is a touchscreen, or they can use an attached mouse to sign. If a mistake was made, select the Clear button to clear the signature area. Once the member has added their signature, select Accept. 
From here, you can charge the member and close the chit as usual. If you added the capture signature function to a payment item, select the payment item and the capture signature window will appear. After the signature has been added, you can process the payment as usual. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.